This tutorial is going to cover the Delilah missile. The Delilah is a man-in-the-loop weapon, meaning we can interact with the weapon after it's already been launched to change its target. Let's look at the loadout page. As we can see here, we have two Delilah missiles on the wings. This is the IR version. There's also a TV uh, camera version. They're pretty much identical, you know, besides the, uh, the camera you're looking through. There's also a data link pod down here, and for the Delilah, it has to be the ASW-55. We also have two fuel tanks. So, we're already in the air. We're heading towards steer point six, which is the uh, target area, and we're going to be engaging a SAM. We're going to take out the FCR. Let's go ahead and hit take off. All right, first step, master arm goes on. Come up here, go to air to ground mode. Make sure you're on the proper steer point. For us, it's six. Hit cursor zero on the FCR. Come over here to the SMS page, hit the power off OSB. Make sure it says ready. Ours does, it should be a three minute warm up though, usually. Come over here to the left, let's pull up the weapon page. Uh, this page allows us to interact with the Delilah missile and also give us the video feed uh, once it's airborne. Uh, we're gonna change the cruise altitude by hitting control on the OSB. Hit cruise and we're gonna type 040 for 4,000 feet. Now that's an MSL by the way, so make sure you know the altitude of the ground, um, you know, the missile's going to fly over or else the missile's going to impact it. Hit control to back out. And we now have everything staged and ready. Next thing is make sure we're within range of the target. So right here you can see the arrow is within this bracket, which means we're within range. We're going to press and hold weapon release. Next thing we do, come over to the HSD, zoom out. And right here you can see there's a yellow cone in front of the aircraft. That's the antenna coverage for our data link to communicate with the missile. We need to make sure the missile is within this data link uh, coverage zone at all times. Now there's two modes for the antenna coverage. You can have the forward facing uh, antenna, or if you come over here to the weapon page, you hit antenna, it'll switch it to the aft mode. And you'll have it on both sides to the sides and rear. So we're gonna keep it on this mode and we're gonna turn to the right and try to get the missile within the coverage. Make sure that you are uh, straight and level when you're trying to get your data link coverage. You know, if you're in a turn facing away from the missile, you will not pick it up. Uh, we just launched the missile as well, and it usually takes a minute or two for the missile to get within coverage area. So right here you can see the yellow cross, and it's within the antenna range. That means we got good coverage, and uh, hopefully within a minute the, uh, the video pod will wake up and give us actual video feed from the missile itself. Uh, when that happens, I will rejoin you. Okay, so now if we come down here and zoom in at the weapon page, we can see the Delilah's uh, video feed. In the top right, there's a bunch of different numbers. Now I'll tell you what they mean starting from the very top. 209 is the missile's heading. Below that is a missile airspeed. Below that is a missile's altitude and an MSL. Below that is a range to the speed. Below that is the time to the crosshair. Uh, excuse me, time to the speed, and below that is the range to speed, and number seven, the last line, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, line four and five, uh, that refers to the range and time to the crosshair if you uh, have autopilot off, by the way. As you can see right here, I have autopilot off and I move the crosshair, uh, those numbers will move. So, with that said, uh, we are going to get good signal on the missile. If you hit pinky switch, you can zoom in and out of the camera. Uh, we're going to move and look around towards the speed. There it is. Now, you can change the speed for the uh, missile as it's flying by doing TMS right twice. And if you have your all piled on, which is AP on, it'll automatically fly towards that. Let's go ahead and uh, arm our bomb by pressing fuse arm. So now the bomb is hot. And we're going to go ahead and do a left hand turn to get it within radar coverage of our opposite antenna, as you can see down here. So we'll just use some afterburner. And 
All right, soon it should be within coverage of our antenna. Maybe a little bit more left turn. There it is. All right. So when we get close to the uh, target, we're going to hit TMS up to go into terminal guidance, which means the missile is going to fly wherever crosshair is pointing. So if we hit TMS up now, you can see it says term on the weapon page, which means it's now going to go straight towards the crosshair. If we want to go back to cruise mode and have it just, you know, flying overhead, hit TMS down and it goes back to cruise. If you hit GA up top, it goes into go around mode and it'll fly away from the target and come back towards it so you get a better view. We're not going to go over that in this tutorial. So as you can see, we're uh, about 50 seconds out, and uh, using our crosshairs, we can see we're about 9 miles out. Let's go ahead and change our uh, altitude to about 2,000 feet, so 020. We'll move our crosshairs over the target, and we'll TMS right twice to change the speed close to it. Right now, you can see the camera's going down because the altitude's changing. You can see right here on the third line, the altitude's diving down to 2,000. Little pinky switch to zoom out. Put our crosshairs on the target, and you can see we are 25 seconds away. Double check over here, make sure we're well within our antenna coverage. We are. Now, we're going to go ahead and hit uh, TMS up to go into terminal guidance mode, which it is. Verify the fuse is armed. It is because it's highlighted. And I usually fly my Delilah a little bit above the target till I'm close to make sure I don't impact the ground before I get there. So I'm going to fly a little bit high. I'm going to TMS up twice again to go to ground stabilize mode. Makes it a little bit easier to control and uh, stabilize. I'm just going to continually guide the missile towards the target. Stay a little bit above it. Now I'm going to dive down right onto it. And we have impact. We'll back out and we'll see if the scoreboard tells us we got a kill. And we do. We have one ground kill. It is the low blow. And that's how you use the Delilah missile.